Holy moly, the castle lights up now, but that's not what the video is about. Let's get to it. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode, and today I've got a custom LEGO minifigure showcase video with two figures from Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. You're not a Skywalker, but this guy is. Anywho, let's just jump into the video because you can probably tell who these two characters are. It's Rey and Ben, Kylo, whatever you want to call him. So let's just get right into this showcase video. All right, starting off with Rey, the uh, main character of the trilogy. As you can see, she does not have her lightsaber that she has at the end of the movie because uh, that would have been expensive to get a yellow lightsaber blade and then to you know make a lightsaber that would have been a lot of work. But it's just a lot of cloth and white paint. It's not really cloth, it's tape. And I also sculpted the um, back hood thing onto her and then also sculpted on the little pieces of hair. I didn't re-sculpt her entire hair piece. I might, re I might do that eventually, but I didn't do it this time. And I also have this piece of hair and I feel like I really got the hair for her to look really, really good. I'm really proud of how it looks. And honestly, the cloth looks pretty fine and pretty okay. I think that, you know, this is the last figure that I've made that has like a lot of thick paint on it. Going forward, I'm really going to try to thin it out and make it just look a lot better. But I still think that this figure looks good. The cloth elements look nice, well, the tape elements. And the figure as a whole looks pretty, pretty good. It's recognizable as Rey. And for, you know, the final Rey figure that I'll make, it's, it's fine. It looks nice. This is Rey. Again, pretty good. Fully hand-painted other than the face because Lego's Daisy Ridley head is pretty perfect. So, yeah, that's Rey. All right, now on to the best character and superior figure. Um, so just starting off with the lightsaber, it's sculpted. It's got the base Lego hilt, and then just the rest of it is just kind of sculpted on there and painted. I think it came out looking pretty okay. I also filled in the bottom and painted that up and then sealed it all. And I think that this lightsaber actually came out looking pretty decent for my abilities. And then... Let me just kind of get this arm a little more in line. But starting off, you can see that there's a lot of 3D elements on this arm. And I really do think that it actually came out looking pretty awesome. I'm glad that I was able to do that. Just trying to, yeah, there you go. So you can really see it. And that's, you know, just mirrored on the other side. And I really like how it looks. It's just multiple pieces of tape, then sealed and painted in black and then the hair is just the Lego hair and head and then the cape is just a cut down Lego cape then you can see all of the patterns and details that are on it and the belt and all of that it was very tedious work but I honestly think that this figure actually came out looking pretty decent and pretty nice and the boots are just you know standard boots for him and again you can see that the arm is just the same as the other arm but mirrored. Now I'm going to take the head off, though you can see the back. So there is the back of the figure. Again, pretty, you know, just standard painting and design. There's the whole figure all around. Looks pretty nice. Very proud of how this figure came out. Definitely the superior of the two figures and characters in this case. And I can't really, I just, I'm just very excited for the rest of the year because I'm really going to try to make my figures a lot better. And I think that this is proof of that, but you know, using gray paint, it's again thick, so it's a little harder to deal with. But with that being said, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. Alrighty guys, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did not, I'm so sorry. But if you did, make sure to let me know by dropping it a like below and or your opinion on the video and make sure to subscribe because that always helps and hit the bell for notifications. That way you are always notified when new videos come out because there will be more videos that will come out this year because, you know, content. And until then, as always, be positive.